if you're looking to sell a lot of books on Amazon and become a bestseller, a great place to advertise your book would of course be Amazon. Amazon ads show up on search results and book pages. They're effective because they're seen by people browsing books on Amazon. People doing this tend to be looking to buy a new book. They're ready to make a purchase. Ads can bring in sales and possibly a direct profit, which would be great. But even if your ads are not profitable on their own, that's okay. Order volume, regardless of profit, is a positive signal and can possibly convince Amazon to recommend your book for free via its email and on-site recommendations. Orders also grow your selling profile on Amazon and put your future books into a profitability position. To get started, go to advertising.amazon.com. You're going to need an advertising account. Create one with a personal Amazon account you already have. Once you're in the Amazon ads area, you're going to want to create a campaign. There are three different options for campaign type. Sponsored products is recommended. However, feel free to experiment with the other two types. I'm going to show you how to set up a sponsored products ad. Once you get the hang of that, if you would like to try the other two in the future, you should be able to set them up pretty easily. You'll be given two options for your ad format, custom text or standard text. Custom text is for a single book, which is most likely what you're going to be running an ad for. Standard is for running ads for multiple books at the same time. However, you won't be able to add custom text to your ad, which is an opportunity to make it stand out. Next, you're going to choose a book of yours to advertise. If you have multiple formats, for instance, a Kindle and paperback version, be sure to pick the Kindle version. The advertising strategy centers around selling Kindle books. Once you finish setting up your ad, Amazon usually takes a day, sometimes longer, to approve your ad. Because you want your ad to start running on your book's release day, this approval gap does create a minor issue. There is a workaround a few days before your book comes out. You could add it to Amazon as a pre-order. The purpose of this is not to sell pre-order copies. It's just to get that book up on Amazon so you can set up your ad prior to release day. You can create an ad for your pre-order book and set the start date for that ad to be on release day. You're then going to be asked to choose your targeting type. Manual targeting gives you more flexibility. I recommend you go with that. You're then going to be asked to pick a sub-targeting type. I realize you're being asked for a lot of information, but it all makes sense and it does not take a long time to enter all of this into Amazon. You have two options here, keyword targeting and product targeting. With keyword targeting, you pick keywords that people may be searching for on Amazon and Amazon will target your ad to searchers of those keywords. With product targeting, you can pick individual products or groups of products, for example, books of an entire genre, and Amazon will target your ads to people interested in those products. Product targeting is more straightforward to set up, but I recommend you try both. How product targeting would work, you can choose individual products to target your ad against, for example, specific books, or you could select Amazon categories to target your ad against. Categories is simplest. You can choose a category that's relevant to your book and all of the books inside of that category will be accessible for ad targeting. The easiest place to look are the categories your book is already under. Amazon will suggest categories for you. You can use as many or as few as you'd like. Bidding refers to the cost you're going to pay. If an Amazon customer were to click on your ad, Amazon will automatically suggest bids 
based on how competitive your targeted categories are. Going with the suggested bid is simplest. However, sometimes a suggested bid might seem too high for your budget. If so, you can lower the bid. If the bid for a category seems way too high for your budget, you can simply remove it. In general, the cost per click on Amazon tends to be higher than on other platforms where you might advertise. The reason for this is because people viewing these ads are in a buying mindset. You're gonna be asked about negative product targeting. If you don't want your ad associated with certain books, feel free to include those books here. Likely, you don't need this. If you go with the custom text option, you're going to be able to add that text. I recommend a two sentence format, grab attention with the first sentence and raise a question with the second and be sure you're relevant to your targeting. You're gonna want your text to appeal to the types of readers of these genre categories. You're then gonna be asked about a bidding strategy if somebody happens to be viewing your ad and Amazon recognizes a context that is not likely to lead to a sale, your bid for that user in that moment can be lowered, which will wind up saving you money if the user clicks on your ad and doesn't go on to make the purchase. The option dynamic bids down only is a good choice here. We're now at the end of the process. I recommend you pick a name that reflects your book title and the campaign settings. You can put in a start date, an end date. What I like doing is not putting in an end date and simply turning off the ad when needed. However, keep in mind, if you select no end date and you do not come back, that ad will continue running and you'll continue to be charged per click even if that ad isn't performing well. So if you think you might forget, put in an end date. Lastly, you're gonna be asked to put in a daily budget. Your budget, of course, depends on your financial situation. If you were to target your ad to keywords instead of categories, you'd have to specify those keywords. I recommend you select enter list, which gives you the option to put in a lot more keywords. I recommend you go with suggested bid, if a certain bid seems high, you can change the bid or simply unselect it and not target that keyword. With keyword targeting, you're gonna be asked to input another piece of information, match type. Phrase match is a nice mix of exact and broad where your ads are targeted to exact matches of the keyword in addition to close matches of the keyword. Phrase match is a good balance between reach and relevance. To find keywords, you can enter relevant words into Amazon search bar for the Kindle store and rely on the auto type feature to find extended phrases of the words you type in. This option is fine, but it can take a while to compile a large enough keyword list to get your ad good visibility. A much faster option is the tool Publisher Rocket. Publisher Rocket has an AMS keyword search feature, which is specifically for this task. Enter relevant words on Publisher Rocket and get back a lot of keywords instantly. Possibly certain keywords won't be a fit for the ad that you wanna run. You can easily unselect those before you export your list. Once you do export your list, which comes out in spreadsheet format, you can easily upload it to Amazon Ads to target all of its keywords. You'll have the option for negative keyword targeting. Again, you likely don't need this. Regardless of the type of ad you run, you're gonna be able to see results directly inside Amazon Ads. In your campaigns area, you're gonna get impressions, which is how many times your ad has been seen clicks, how many times your ad's been clicked, CTR, click-through rate, how often your ad is clicked versus seen, spend, how much money you've spent on the ad so far, CPC, what your average cost per click is for that ad, 
Orders refers to how many times your ad directly led to somebody buying your book. Sales is the amount of money those orders resulted in. As ACOS stands for Advertising Cost of Sales. This is a measure of the direct profitability of your ad. The lower this number, the better. If your book is $2.99 or above, Amazon collects a 30% fee on any sale. You keep 70%. So if your advertising cost of sales is below 70, that means you've made a profit on this ad. If your book happens to be in Kindle Unlimited, you're also going to have access to a estimated KENP royalties figure. This is an estimate, the earnings this ad led to from Kindle Unlimited customers who downloaded your book. So even if you have an advertising cost of sales that's above 70%, if you factor in these additional earnings, you might realize that your ad is directly profitable. Amazon ads are not just for release week. If an ad is profitable in its own regard or because of sales from additional books, you can keep it on past release week. Over time, ad reach can slow down from too much exposure. If the impressions for one of your ads go down a lot, don't worry. You can turn the ad off and use Amazon's duplicate feature to create a new version of it in just a few seconds, which Amazon will treat as a new ad. A-B testing with campaign types, targeting, bids, etc. can be worthwhile over the long run. With A-B testing, you run two ads side by side, see their results, turn off the worst performer, and transfer its budget to the better performer. During release week, when you just have a few days to make an impact with your ads, extensive testing can slow things down, especially because Amazon needs a day or so to approve each ad. So I recommend you keep things simple during release week by minimizing testing. If you're going to keep ads on after release week, though this is a good opportunity to do more testing, you should definitely be aware of your time to improvement ratio. As a writer, a big portion of your schedule should be dedicated to writing books. If you find yourself tweaking ads for hours a day just to get your cost per click down a cent or two, that time investment may not be the right decision for you as an author.